So far, to create a new lab accident report, we'd go into the list and would click on Add a New Item. And then the form comes up. Let's fill it out. So we'll just choose for the accident type chemical spill. We're going to specify date and time. Location. Root cause. Negligence. And for corrective actions, we're going to choose reprimand student and train student. Amount of chemical spilled. We're going to put a 1, and it's going to be hydrochloric acid. And then finally, for the injuries, of course, we'll put our favorite users and injury response, first aid given. Now, let's go ahead and save. And so you can see that all of this data is in a list. However, a different way we can instantiate this form is by using the InfoPath web part. So we'll, we'll go back to the home page of the site. We're going to click on Site Actions Edit Page. And by the way, this can happen on any page. I'm just choosing this particular home page. Add web part. We'll scroll down to Office Client Applications, and this is where you'll find the InfoPath form web part. We'll add it in, and now we have to configure it. Let's scroll to the right. We'll choose Lab Accident Reports. Notice that everything by default is already there. So we can, we can actually just leave the default settings. And notice the submit behavior. You can decide, leave the form open, open a new form, or close the form. So how about we'll just choose close form, and then click OK. Now we can stop editing. And essentially, so when we get to the site, and just to show you how this works, so when you get to courses, um, one of the things that you'll see on here is a lab accident report. Probably would have been a good idea to just uh, not show the Chrome. And again, that's very easy to do by going to Edit Web Part, going into Appearance, and for the Chrome type, we're going to show None. And now let's just click Save. Oh, that's actually a save for, for the form. So can't really save that just yet. Let's, uh, let's exit. And let's come back. OK, there's our form. So as soon as I click on the form, then that's, that's the form ribbon that comes up to, you know, to save the form, to close the form. Uh, so if I just uh, fill out basic uh, basic information, nothing bad happened. Um, and for the location, we're going to pick a location, and we're going to click Save. And notice that. The behavior was this form has been closed after uh, you submitted the accident. Now we can go back and look at lab accident reports, and you can see that there is another entry in this list. And of course, if we do want to remove the form from the site, it's just as easy as putting it in there. 
we're just going to go and um, edit the web page, delete the web part, and stop editing. And there you go.